pick those things out, and then you want to work your way into the flow. One of the biggest mistakes people make is not knowing where the how deep to go, where the flow starts, where it ends. So basically, you end up peeling your log multiple times. So now we're through the outer bark. This is the inner bark of the flow. We're not anywhere close enough to where the insects are going to be. You know, what we're going to be finding is probably early instar larvae. A lot of times there won't be any necrotic tissue, it won't be brown at all. They'll be, be tunneling in this phloem tissue. You write down that it's a woodpeck so we don't forget it. And this one, we've got a couple of different things going on here. So pull this back carefully so you can see it. So it looks like we had a gallery that was started up here, worked its way down, kind of came around, and it looks like we have another one that started over here, and they kind of crossed over. So we probably have a couple different larvae in there. Whoa, a lot more down there. But you know, it gets a little bit tricky to differentiate how many larvae you have here. Here was one, an early instar that I just squished. So since we saw that, as we're peeling, we'll just write early next to it so we don't forget about it. Now these, I think we have two free pupa in there from a couple of these galleries, but we need to make sure. So let's get rid of some of this some of this gallery. And this is where it entered. Here's a little hole right there that's packed with that white sawdust, about an inch. And right between the two, nope, just one, he's just jackknifed over. He's all full for that. So there he is. So sorry.